Hi, meow. My name is Aaron Kitty Boy Ubu, and welcome to a contained tutorial on arithmetic cipher. Um, this cipher module does not require edge work, so we can hop straight into it. And um, this has your standard layout of a cipher module: uh, three lines and pages. And if this module has ones and zeros on the background and is always tinted a pink, reddish color. So if it's not that, you're actually looking at a different module. Coincidence. Haha. <laughs> Alright, so what essentially we're going to be doing here is that we're going to use all these letters to get a random amount of letter word. Uh, yeah, the answer on this module of the amount of letters can be varied. Uh, that's probably the one the one of the bigger differences of this module between the other cipher modules and um, we're going to be getting a word so let's hop straight into it uh, we're, the diffuser conveys to the expert uh, all the letters on uh, all the lines of um, bars right here and it, um, Keep in mind that this first line is always going to vary in length. So what I would do, well, if I were you, uh, I would indicate when the next line is uh, for each for each line, because this can vary in length. So keep that in mind, we're going to be copying this down, just have it on our notepad. Um, the last line would always have three letters in a number, a three-digit number. Yeah, and so now we have all of it. So now we can actually get into the cipher and keep in mind that also that this is one of the longer, the very long ciphers and harder ciphers to do just because of how long it takes to get the answer. And okay, so we can actually get started now. Alright, first step, encrypted binary retrieval. For this step, use the letters from the top screen of page 1. So, top screen of page 1, use it here. Uh, we are going to convert this encoded binary sh uh, encoded string to binary by replacing each letter with a binary code from the table on the right. And then we are going to get our binary stream. So, basically what's saying that Take the uh, take the letter and just copy it, and we're gonna connect, concatenate it to replace it with binary string right here. So A is this, uh, O is this, uh, F is this, uh, Q is this, Zulu is U. Papa is you. And done. The easiest step in the module is done. So to recap, I'm going to recap every time we do a step. Uh, we take the top screen of page one uh, and then convert it to a binary stream based on this table. Easy. Okay, step two. Frequency retrieval. We're going to concatenate the letters on the middle and bottom screens of page one and then all three screens on page two, and we're going to ignore this number. So let's do that. Let's concatenate it. Yeah, use this, use these three letters, not these uh, numbers. Okay, so we sh and this should be 20, exactly 27 letters in total. If it's not 27, you did something wrong. Now, we are going to now take the alphabetic position of all these letters here. So let's do that. India is 11, Kilo is 9, Foxtrot is 6, Papa is 16, Whiskey is 23, Hotel is 8, uh, Foxtrot is 6, 
Yankee is 25 as opposed to say 24. Uh, X-ray is 24. Alpha is 1. Fatra is 6. Lima is 12. Victor is 22. Gulf is 7. Uh, November is 14. Yankee is 25. Papa is 16. Uniforms 21. Uh, whiskey's 23. <laughs> it says ooh ooh right here. <laughs> okay, I should. I'm getting. I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, X ray 24. Echoes 5. Golf 7. Whiskey 23. Zulu 26. Echo 5. Echo 5. Okay, we don't need this anymore. So these are gonna be these numbers right here. I'm gonna so extend this so we can see all of it. These are referred to as our frequencies, so I'm going to label it as frequency. Okay, now that we have this, this is, these are all going to be labeled uh, as letters in the alphabet in order, uh, a, B, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, etc. And then our last one being our EOF frequency, which, uh, yeah, label 26 letters, letters A through Z, last as EOF. We're going to see what EOF means uh, later in step 3. But for now, we're just going to label it as EOF. So we're going to label this a row as letter. And then we're going to basically just going to put the alphabet right here in order. A, B, C, D, E, F, uh, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, uh, R, S, T U V W X Y Z, and then this last one is going to be E O F. So this these frequencies relate to this letter. Yeah, you get the point. All right. Next, we are going to calculate the running total for each entry, with label A being with zero, and label B with the frequency of A. So what this means is that we're going to calculate our running total. So let's label this row as running total. And then let's just uh, have it lined up here. So what this means is that we're going to start, we're going to label alpha as zero for our running total. So alpha is zero. And then now we're going to take our previous running total and our previous frequency of each letter, and, uh, and and we're going to do this in order, by the way, and we're going to add them up. So our previous is 0, our previous is 9, so that means Bravo's running total is 9. And we're just going to keep doing this for all letters until, or until we exhaust this entire frequency. We use all the numbers on our frequency. So we can call our handy calculator here. And we're gonna keep doing this. So Charlie's twenty. And here I'll line it up later. Uh, for now, let's just get all our values. So twenty-six plus sixteen is forty-two. Plus twenty-three is sixty-five. Eight is seventy-three. Six is seventy-nine. 25 is 104, 24 is 128, 1 is 176 uh, plus 14 is 190 plus 25 is uh, 215 plus 16 is 231 Oops. 21 is 252 and then plus 23 is 275 Plus 21 is 296, 
plus 24 is 320 plus 5 is 325 plus 7 is 332 23 is 355 plus 26 is 381 plus 5 is 386 and plus 5 is 391 okay we got our running totals um, and you might have noticed something is that this number that we got from the read is the exact same number as this and yes that is true so that's what this is for if once you calculate all your running totals the last number should be this number if it's not you're you did something wrong all right let's um let's line these up now to make it more organized so we know which letter relates to which one Alright, and you can also notice that we have 27 letters, or 27 numbers actually, in our running totals. Um, this last uh, this last one is going to be labeled as our total, this last um, number. So yeah, it says it's right here. Uh, where is it? Yeah, finally you need the value called total, which is the sum of all frequencies. Yeah, which is this one. Okay. So we're done with step two. So to recap on step two, uh, let me let me just do this. To recap on step two, uh, we concatenate all these letters on screen two, three on page one, and screen one, two, three, except the numbers on page two. Concatenate all of it, convert it all to uh, their alphabetic positions, which are the frequencies for the alphabet in order, plus our EOF, and then from the frequencies, we calculate running totals with alpha being labeled as zero and add up the last running total with the, the previous running total with the previous frequency to get our frequency for the next letter, which gets us uh, all these numbers uh, for our running totals. So we should have uh, what letter relates to which frequency and running total. All right. Now we can move on to step three, which is actually decrypting a um, decrypting our word. So throughout the process, three 20-bit values are relevant, which are our high, low, and code. So uh, for the very first time, we're going to be doing this step because we're going to be having to do these steps repeatedly, as it says here. Um, we're going to have to do this all a bunch of times, so this is the hardest step out of the entire module. Um, we're going to use uh, our high, low encode to get a letter. So our first, our starting, our start high, low is going to be, is always going to be these numbers right here. Uh, which is uh, this binary stream, which is actually this number in this binary stream, which is actually this number. So. Let's label it. Our high is this number, and we're going to uh, be using our decimal values here. Don't worry about the binary stream for now. Uh, our low, oops, is going to be zero, and it's always going to be these. It's not. It's not going to change. These. It's always going to be these. Uh, at least for this step, and our code, which is actually different, is going to be. Um, the first 20 bits from our binary stream, 
which our binary stream is right here. So we're going to use the first 20 uh, bits in our stream. And this is 20. Yes, it is. Okay, let's copy it down here. So this, our code is this. Let's just concatenate it all together. And I'm, I'm going to be separating it with a space every time uh, we use something from our binary stream. Uh, and you, you'll see why in a sec, uh, in a few admit. So this is actually a binary sh a binar uh, binary number and not a decimal number. So we're going to be converting this binary to decimal to get our decimal value, which is also base 2 to base 10 uh, for you want to use bases. So uh, this binary stream is actually this number, and you could use rabbit tables. So yeah, it's this number. This binary is this number. So now we act, now we actually have our high, low, and code values. So now what do we do next? So now, uh, uh, keep in mind when doing all this, all divisions in the following formulas are integer divisions round down. This means that we are only going to round down if we get parentheses, or not parentheses, if we get decimals. Uh, never round up to the nearest, it's always round down. Uh, I guess it's like tax returns, uh, if you want to use that as a reference. So now next, calculate the value of this. All right, let's do that. So we're going to be using our variables high, low, and code to plug it into this equation right here. So let's do that. And we're going to get a value. So let's do that. Um, our code is this number minus our low, which is 0, plus 1, times our total, which is this number right here. So this minus 1, end parentheses, divided by our high, which is this number, minus a low, which is 0, plus 1. Let's see what this equals. Um, equals this. Remove all decimals. So it's just 66. OK, so what do we do with this value now? With this value, if the running total of EOF um, is higher uh, or is uh, lower than this value, you are done. So basically what's asking is that, is this value bigger than our EOF uh, running total value, which is 386? It is not. It is far from it. So we are not done. I have people texting me. <laughs> okay. So it's not. Otherwise, find the latest letter whose running total is less than to this value. So what it's asking is that we're going to find in our running total values here, uh, what is the biggest value that is less than this value. And we can you can see that it is Foxtrot because Six out of all this running total values, 65 is the largest value that is less than this value that we got. Alright, so that means our first letter in our answer is going to be Foxtrot. So here, let's write our answer right here, Foxtrot. Okay, so we have Foxtrot, and we're going to note Foxtrot down, by the way. We're going to need this later, uh, which is actually the very next step. So now that we have now that we have calculated our our uh, newest uh, letter for our answer, we're going to calculate a new high and new low value for when we're going to do this again. So let's label this as new high and new low values. Okay, uh, and we're going to be doing this by using these uh, equations right here, which are with new variables being Victor and Foxtrot, Victor being the running total of the letter just decoded, which is this value right here, 65, because it relates to Foxtrot, and then freak F as frequency, which relates to, which the one relates to Foxtrot, which is 8. So let's do that. Uh, our old high, and this we're going to also be using our old high and low, which are these two, the ones we used previously. Okay, so our old high, let's put our old high right here, minus old low, 0, plus 1, times uh, parentheses, 
uh, 65 is our vector and plus frequency, which is 8, divided by our total, which is 391, plus old low, minus 1. Uh, let's spell out this equation uh, first before we use our calculator, just to save time. Uh, old high, so this one, minus old low, minus 0, plus 1. Uh, times uh, our vector, which is 65, divided by total, 91, plus old low, 0. Alright, let's see what these equal. Equals this. Again, remove all decimals. Just this value. This equals this. And this equals this. And also keep in mind that it is always, the low is always going to be uh, lower than the high value. So if higher high value is lower than a low value, you're doing something wrong. Okay, so we have our new high and low values. So what do we do with our new high and low values? Um, we are going to now convert it to a 20 digit binary stream. So we're going to convert this decimal to binary or base 10 to base 2. So swap. Oops. Okay. Now we get this. Or actually, let's put it up here. This is our high. And this is our low. And then we're also going to be using our uh, code, our most recent code, which is this. And um, you can see it's. It's supposed to be 20 bits long, so if it's not 20 bits long, uh, prepend by zeros. So let's make this 20, prepend by zeros. All right, we have our uh, new high, new low, and our previous or most recent code binary strings of 20. Uh, let's let's copy paste this down here, and now we are going to modify these high and low values based on the following. We're going to start at the left and remove contiguous block of bits where high and low are equal. What does that mean? So you can see in the example below that our high and low value have to be the same, so that would count as a removal uh, to our code as well, only high and low. So and you can see when high and low don't equal each other, uh, we stop there. So let's see. So we can see that uh, up until here, so the first five bits of our high and low code, uh, is when uh, they equal each other, and then the next one they don't, because this is a one and this is a zero. So since these are the same, we're going to remove these, and we're also going to remove it in our, in our code. So let's remove it in our code as well. Okay, now, we now we're left with this. Now the next step is to keep the next column. So that means we're going to keep this column right here, this very first column after we do that step. Uh, do not remove this at all. We're going to remove the next ones if we need to. And then we're going to remove a contiguous block of bits where high is zero and low is one, marked in blue below. So we can see an example marked in blue below is that uh, high has to equal zero and low has to equal one for us to have to, for us to remove it and we're going to do the contiguous block of it so stop at the first one where it's not this case and as you can see when, when we move on to the second column of our uh, our string uh, it it doesn't equal high it doesn't equal zero so we just we don't do anything because uh, we don't have it. Okay, now to now final step to modifying it, we're going to pad high on the right back to 20 bits uh, using only one bit. So what that means, what that just means is we're going to append uh, high with one until it's 20 bits. So oops, that's two, one, so like that. And then we're going to do the same for low but with zero, so like this. And then for code, this is different. 
we're going to take the next, uh, what's next in our binary stream to append our code. So, we're, so we already used this already. So what comes next in our binary stream? These five next values in our binary stream up here. So now we're going to append it like that. And now we have, and now this is our new high, low encode for our, for the, for the next time we're going to be doing the same thing. So this is our high, this is our low, and this is our code. So uh, we basically from all this right here, we just went from this binary stream to these binary streams. So we're going to be, and we're going to be using these ones. And then we just convert it back to, uh, it says up here, convert it to decimal. So yeah, because we need our decimal values. So this equals this. This equals this. And yes, uh, high and high is higher than low. So we're on the right track. And I don't think it matters what code is, to be honest. I, I think code is just random. Uh, I'm not too sure though. So now with the now with our new high and low code values, we just basically do all of this again. So basically, once you get here, you already know how to do it. You you know how to do the rest of the module. Uh, it's really it's just it's just really like putting variables into equations and then getting very very big numbers and then uh, modifying binary streams. That's all you're basically doing here over and over again. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically the entire module. Uh, now it's for completion. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find the answer to this uh, just so you see how it fully works. But you basically know how to do it already. So since this is the end of step three, just to recap, uh, we get our high, low encode values. Uh, first time, very first time you're doing this, you're using these, uh, and then we plug it into an equation, which is this one. We get our value, which is this, uh, and then we see if it is bigger than our EOF. If not, then use the running total uh, number that is less than this value, but the highest, and then that relates to that running total relates to our an our letter answer, which we will add to our answer. And then after that, we get we calculate our new high and low values using our old high, old low, um, and the running total and frequency of the letter we just decoded. We get our new high, low values, and then we convert it to a 20-bit binary stream, which is this. And then we also, and then for this, we use our old, our most recent code. Uh, and then we, we, and then we modify our 20-bit uh, uh, stream of high-low encode together uh, using these steps that we just did. And then we, and then that is our high-low code for when we do the, this step again. And we keep doing it until our the value we get from this equation uh, is higher than our EOF, and that's basically the module. So you can see why this takes so long to do because you gotta keep doing this over and over again and keep using so big numbers. But yeah, that's basically the entire module. Now let's let's just keep. Now we're gonna keep doing it over and over again until we get an answer. So so you can see how fully works. Um, but you base at this point you basically know how to do the module. So now using this as our high low encode, uh, we're gonna keep we're gonna go back here and do all the steps. Calculate the value of this equation. So let's do that. Our code is this. Our low is this. Our and then plus one um, times our total is three nine one minus one divided by our high, which is this one, and minus.
minus our low. And plus one. And this equates to 51, which um, the highest value that is lower than this value in our running total is echo, which is 42. So this is echo, and that's our answer for the next letter. All right, now that we got our letter, we got to find our new high and low. So new high and new low, uh, which is our old high, which is this one, minus old low, which is this one, times uh, victor, which is our running total of echo, which is 42, plus frequency of echo, which is 23. Uh, divided by our total, 391, um, plus old low, this one, minus 1. Uh, let's fill our second equation, which is, and you could also see, this is the exact same thing, so let's just, uh, just to speed it up, we can just uh, copy-paste this. Uh, times victor 42 divided by total 391 plus all the low this one. Alright, let's let us uh, see what these uh, new values are. Oh, oops, that is not the right one to use. Alright, it equals this huge number. And then this one equals this huge number. Alright, now we convert these to binary. And then we're going to place it down here. Use our most recent code afterwards. And append by zeros if not long enough. And this is our binary stream. Let's modify it. Um, remove continuous blocks where high and low are equal. Uh, it's up to the first four bits. Um, keep the next column, which don't delete this one. Now remove uh, where high is 0 and low is 1. The very next one, high is 1. So we don't do anything. Um, now append by 1 for high, append by 0 for low, until 20 bits. Use the next, what comes next in our binary stream, which is these four, and use these for our code. Convert these uh, this is now. This is our high value, our low value, our code value, and we're going to convert these back to decimal. All And then do it again. This equation. Use our code minus our low plus one times total three ninety one. Yes, three ninety one minus one divided by high. minus our low plus one. This equates to this number, one six hundred nine. One six nine, nice. Um 
the running total who's equal to or less than this value is this one is November so this equals November and that's our answer new high and low values let's calculate them is this equation old high minus old low plus one times our running total for November's one six and nine nice was I ty I hope I didn't mess anything up I typed a uh, frequency for November is seven divided by total three nine one yep three nine one uh plus old low this one minus one our new low old high minus old low plus one times victor which is one six nine divided by total three nine one plus old low this one and let's see what they equates to this equates to this and this equates to this and keep in mind high is higher than low it is we're on we're on the right track convert to binary use our most recent code and it's already 20 bits nice okay now let's modify our string continuous blocks were high and low are equal to each other up until the first five bits one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five um next keep keep the next column keep the first column and then high has to equal zero low has to equal one and this, this is not so we don't do anything again now pad append by one append by zero and take the next what comes next in our binary stream And, oh, I should have copy pasted it. Let me do that. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do that. Uh, actually, I just keep, I just use control Z. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, let's do it again, because I'm dumb. Oh, I forgot to mention, if you exhaust the binary stream, which means using all the digits from our binary stream, just keep appending um, by one for code. It says it right here. I almost forgot about that. I did not explain that. All right, well, let's we'll just keep going. Hi, this is our hi. This is our low. And it's our code. Let's convert all these to binary or decimal in it. Binary two decimal. And you can see I'm using the copy paste feature a lot, which is a good thing.
let's do our equation. Our code minus low plus one times day night one minus one divided by high minus low. Plus one. Bada bing, bada boom. I missed something. I missed the parentheses right here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is equal to twenty. Does not equal our EOF. So uh, means our letter is going to be highest. That's lower in this value, uh, which is Charlie. Is it? Wait, what? Apparently, I did this wrong. Apparently, I didn't line it up right. Ah, okay. Okay, well, it equals Charlie, though. So, Charlie. So, no, that's how we're. Next letter. New high and new low. Let's do our equation. Old high minus old low plus one times Victor for Charlie is 20 plus frequency for Charlie is 6 divided by total 391 plus old low minus 1 take the exact same thing here Times 20 divided by 391 plus old low. This one. Alright, let's, let's see what it equates to. This huge number. And this one. This huge one. And it's low, high is higher than low, we're good. Convert to binary. Uh, take the code, most recent code. And by zero. Um, let's cut and paste this. Uh, move continuous blocks where high and low are equal. So, oh, that's a lot. So, up to here. So, that's seven bits in total. Um, high, remove, keep the next column, remove high and low, where high is zero, low is one. That's not it. So, uh, append high by one, append low by zero, append code by what's left in the binary stream, which is, oops, this, it's just this left. So, since we ran out, uh, we just keep pending by one now. And this becomes our new high, low encode. Convert to decimal. And 
high and low. High is higher than low. That's good. Code is this. I think code might be a value in between high and low, actually. So I think I'm just notice now noticing that. So there is some things to look at for code. Let's do it all again. Let's make our equation. Code is this minus low is this plus one times total three nine one minus one divided by high minus low plus one. This equates to fifty six. It is not higher than our EOF. So 56 is echo, because that is this value's highest, that's lower than the value. So echo. And we add that to our answer. Now it does make a word, but just to be sure, we, we could try and submit this, but I mean we don't with the again, like I said at the beginning. It vary, the answer varies in length. It could be fences with an S. So we're, we're gonna we're gonna keep going, you know. We're gonna we're gonna keep doing all this. All right, new high and new low. And the and I am labeling these just for the tutorial. I usually don't label my things. I just know which one is which. So, but I'm just doing it for the tutorial. Okay, old high minus old low plus one times uh, frequency for echo, or not frequency, right? The total for echo is 42 plus frequency for echo is 23. Oops, I forgot I had parentheses. Divided by total three and one minus old low or plus old low I meant minus one our old high is or oh we can just copy basis forgot that there we go times three and one or no, that's Victor, 42, oops. Divided by 391, plus old low. This equates to you. This equates to you. And yes. High is higher than low, we're good. Convert to binary. Use our most recent code. Append by a zero. Or prepend. Have I? I've been saying append the entire time. It's prepend by zero. My bad. Remove continuous blocks for high and lower equal up until here. So first four bits get removed. Keep the next column, which keep this first column. Remove high is zero, low is one. That is not true. Here, so we don't do anything. Append by one, append by zero, and since we exhausted our binary stream, append by one. Um, I did not copy paste it again. Let me do that. I forgot I didn't just, yeah.
There we go. Uh, this is our high. This is our low. And this is our code. And you can see why I'm splitting it up, by the way, because I'm using all this information just for all this. Using all this information for just this. Just to make it easier to understand. Um, oh yeah, we gotta convert to decimal. Let's do our equation again. Code. Um, minus low. Plus one. Times three nine one. Minus one. Divided by high. Minus low. Plus one. This equates to two hundred fifty one. Is it higher than our EOF? No. Two hundred fifty one. That is um R. I feel like it should be fences though. Did I, did I plug it in right? Um, oh yeah, it looks like it did. This semi equal to 251. Alright. It's gonna go with it. Uh, which is R. Man. R. So. Uh, that's our answer. Fencer. I guess that's a word. But it, there could be another letter, so we're gonna keep going, just to be sure. New high and new low. You can see why this module sucks. You have to keep doing this over and over again. Old high minus old low. Plus one times Victor, which for R that is two hundred thirty one. And then plus frequency is for is for R is twenty one, so plus twenty one. Divided by total 391 plus old low, this one, minus one, old high, and, or just all this, times 231 divided by 391 plus old low. This equates to this number, this equates to this number. Our high is higher than I low, our low, so that's good. Convert to binary. That's lower. All right, use our most recent code. Append by zero if needed. Remove continuous block. Oh wait, copy paste this. I just forgot. 
Okay, remove continuous blocks or high and lower equal. First one doesn't even equal each other, so we don't do that. Um, keep first column and then remove. Now we can actually do this remove continuous blocks where high is zero, low is one. So you can see here high is zero, low is one. So we remove these ones, and now it doesn't anymore over here. So we only remove these ones. Append by one. Append by zero. Since we exhausted our binary stream already, append by one. <sighs> Man, this module. This is our high. This is our low. This is our code. Convert to decimal. Our higher high is higher than our low, so we're good. Our code is in between those, hopefully. Yes it is. Yeah, the code has to be in between that. Alright. Equation time. Our code. Our low. Plus one. Times 391. Our total. Minus one. Divided by our high. Minus low. Plus one and parentheses. This is three eight eight one three three hundred eighty eight. Is it bigger than our EOF? Yes. Yes it is uh, bigger than our EOF. So um we're basically so basically when I say it's bigger than our EOF, basically it it, it is. So we, we, we stop. It's like the same thing as doing what we've been doing with the letters. Use the highest running total that's less than this value, the calculated value. So it equals our EOF. So we're done. That is it. That is, we got our answer. It is fence er, which I, I'm actually not confident on. I really hope it is that. Okay. How do we submit? This is really easy. You can use the on-screen keyboard here to type our answer. If you want to um, unsubmit it, just press an arrow. It'll clear it. Uh, press the sub button, which just becomes sub to submit. Or you can use the on-screen keyboard. Or you can use your keyboard. You can't use the backspace though. Oh well. Okay. Well, I just type out answer and be done. This was and there you go. That was the arithmetic cipher tutorial by Aaron Kitty Boy. Ooh, ooh. And that's it. See you later.